With all of the buzz that Edge has been getting around animation and uh, moving stuff around on the screen, one of the things that's been overlooked is its ability to actually take stuff on an existing web page and put it into motion. I mentioned this to uh, Ian, and he sent me a theme forest theme right here. And the plan is real simple. I'm going to take this logo and sort of bounce it into place. And then I'm going to take these three images down the bottom here, and I'm going to have them come zipping in and sort of bounce into place as well. So let's get started. I've got the uh, file open here in Edge, and really all you need to do to open existing HTML files, file, open, find the uh, index file or whatever it's called, and go to work. Now, if I want to beat myself in the head with a brick, I can turn off the uh, martini glass here, which just shows me only the animated elements, and then I can sort of hunt around and try and find out where all this stuff is. There's a much easier way of doing it, so I'm just going to turn that off. Now I'm going to select the, the logo, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up on the y-axis. So I'm just going to move it off the page, just like that. And you see, I got a keyframe, and it's just this image. And now what I'm going to do is come across about one second, and then I'm just going to move it back into the zero position on the y axis. And if I scrub across, you can see that the logo pops into place. Now, the other thing, of course, I want to do is just bounce it. So we'll just come in, ease out, bounce. And there we go. So that's done. Now I'm going to uh, twirl up this layer and come down to the bottom here and start dealing with these three images. Now what I want them to do is to actually come into place. Now there's one thing I want you to pay attention to is their location. Notice that the location of this image is 0, 0. This one is 0, 0. And this one is 0, 0. This is their location in the CSS. So let's put them in motion. So we'll start with this one first. And what I'm going to do is move it on the x-axis. So I'm going to just move it off the page. And you can see that as soon as I move it, it opens up on a layer strip. So I'll just keep moving it across. And it'll slide actually under the edge of the page, just go off the page. So I just want to bring it to the edge right Come on, right there. And I'm going to take this out over a second and a half. So we'll go to two and a half seconds. And then I'm just going to set the Y value to zero. And it comes back into place. And if we come to the one second mark, you can see that it, that's exactly what it does. Now, the other thing, of course, I'm going to have it sort of bounce in. I'm going to use an elastic. So we'll just ease out elastic. And we'll come back to the start, press the space bar, and you can see it bounces into place. Now we're going to do the same thing with our little mouse here. So we're going to uh, move it on the y-axis. We'll just move it off. Oh, sorry, we should move it on the x-axis. So we're just going to move it across. Notice it's now got its own position here. And I'm just going to move the mouse off right about there. And again, come across to the second and a half mark. So we'll take it out to four seconds. And I'll just set the translate x value to zero. Comes back into position. Hit the Enter key. And I now have my transition. And I'm going to throw in that elastic ease. And we're going to do the final thing, the final uh, motion with this one. So we're just going to move it on the x-axis. Notice it immediately swings out. And we'll just take it across, just like that. And then we're going to come out to that second and a half mark. And change the minus 319 to 0. And if we uh, come across, you can see how this whole thing works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the duration of this because it's a little bit slow. 
So I'm just going to pull this in, we'll say to three quarters of a second. Let's see what happens there. Of course, it would help if I gave it the elastic bounce. Okay, let's uh, see how all that works again. There we go. Now, the other thing that we can do here, which I think is kind of neat, is we can actually time these things to be a little bit different. So I can take this whole animation, and we'll say I have this one come in at the five second mark, and I'm going to take this one and have it come in, we'll say right about there. So what we've got now are staggered images. So if we come back to the start, and we zoom out so we can see the entire page, there we go. In comes the logo, and each of the images bounces into place. So there you go. You can uh, use Edge to put stuff on existing animation or existing HTML pages into motion. Now, following uh, Proviso, this is a beta project. It's product. It's available in labs. And there have been reports that this is somewhat inconsistent. I'm sure that uh, if enough people uh, complain about the uh, process or identify areas where they're having issues, the Edge team will pay attention and you can raise those issues on the Edge forum. But I still think this is a pretty cool way of working with existing web pages.